only eating at Panda Express for a full day. I had to start off with the classic orange chicken, which definitely had a lot of flavor, really sweet and like acidic, even a little spicy. And the glaze is so thick, like not bad. The fried rice was super soft. And I also tried it with the chili sauce, which was pretty spicy, kind of like a sriracha flavor. Then for lunch, I got the honey walnut shrimp, which had a generous coating of batter, but the honey flavor wasn't too sweet, which was really nice. And the walnuts were almost candied, super crunchy. And I definitely prefer the chow mein over the fried rice. I feel like it's more flavorful. Also, like, who doesn't love noodles? I also tried this chicken egg roll, which had a super crunchy wonton wrapper, and it wasn't greasy at all. It was also, like, packed full of chicken and cabbage, and this teriyaki sauce was super thick and savory and sweet. And then it was back for dinner. Of course, I had to try the Beijing beef. It was really sugary, but also kind of sour and crisped up really nicely. It also had, like, a little spice. And finally, I got the black pepper Angus steak and they actually gave me a lot of steak. Um, for the most part, it was pretty tender, but my favorite part were the veggies. Like the big chunks of mushrooms were so juicy and the chow mein was satisfying and comforting. Of course, I love noodles and that's all for today. Only eating Korean food for a full day. For breakfast, I had to get some bibimbap. It had kimchi and bulgogi and of course rice, which got all crispy in the hot stone bowl. It was super spicy, but also like sour and savory and crunchy. Just so many flavors. I also had to try their Korean fried chicken, which is hand battered. And then it's fried twice. So it's super crispy. They're really garlicky too and have that nice salty soy flavor. And the pickled radish was super sweet and crunchy and juicy. Anyway, then I I went to my local Asian market and I found these Korean style corn dogs. I air fried them to get them really crispy. Then I added ketchup and mustard and they had mozzarella on top, which was of course delicious. And then fish sausage inside, which actually isn't fishy at all. It's the perfect texture too. It's like a little bit chewy, but still kind of soft and kind of juicy too. I also found these dream cakes and I heard you're supposed to microwave them for a few seconds. Wow, the chocolate got so melty and the cake was really soft and the cream filling was so smooth absolutely delicious and i'm not sure exactly what this dish was called since it was in korean but i recognized the duck bulky and i think the rest of it was fish cakes honestly i'm obsessed with the texture of the rice cakes they're so like perfectly chewy and soft and the fish cakes were also delicious like also kind of chewy but in the most satisfying way the sauce is thick and spicy and sweet absolutely delicious and that's all for today only eating food from the dollar store for a full day. I forgot how much food they have here. They literally have a whole frozen section where I got this sausage and gravy pot pie for breakfast. Of course, it was scalding hot, but the crust was like really flaky and the gravy was thick and it had that yummy like breakfast sausage flavor. I also found these tagalongs, which are my favorite Girl Scout cookie. I haven't had one in so long. They're so crunchy and peanut buttery, absolutely delicious. Then for lunch, I found these Jamaican beef patties. This one was filled with spicy beef and it actually had a lot of heat like super flavorful too and soft and warm and of course flaky and i was so excited about these chili lime peach rings but the flavor was literally so intense it was hard to eat more than one like super sweet and sour and spicy they just weren't really for me but that's okay because they had so many options for ramen noodles so for dinner i tried these spicy beef ones and oh my gosh they were actually really hot definitely not quite as spicy as like samyang noodles but my mouth was for sure on fire and they were a really good texture too but super salty. And finally for dessert, I got some My Mochi ice cream. I've never tried these before, but they were delicious, soft and chewy and creamy and sweet. And the strawberry one had a nice flavor, but I think I actually prefer the mango one. It was really fruity and like refreshing. Yum. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Only eating Pakistani food for a full day. First up, I got some pani puri, which are these crispy little balls filled with chickpeas and this water that's got like cilantro, mint, ginger, a bunch of different spices, and they're super light and crunchy. They like explode in your mouth. And of course, I had to get a mango lassi. It was thick and creamy and sweet. Literally the perfect drink. You have to try one. I also got this kima karai, which is like a minced meat tomato curry, and it's packed full of spice and flavor. It's like super rich and honestly pretty spicy. And the crunchy 
crunchy ginger on top added so much flavor. Also, oh my gosh, the naan was so soft. Anyway, later I had to try some chaat and it had these crispy pieces of fried dough covered in yogurt and potatoes and this sweet tamarind chutney. It's literally an explosion of flavors. It's like sweet and spicy and tangy and crunchy and soft and creamy. It's insane. And finally for dinner, I had this japli kebab, which is made with grilled beef. And then they're also fried. So they've got that like extra layer of flavor and crisp, but it's still super tender and just kind of like melts in your mouth. And oh my gosh, I'm in love with tamarind chutney. It's so sweet. And I feel like it goes well on everything. It's addicting. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating at IHOP for a full day. It's pumpkin spice season, baby. So of course for breakfast, I had to get pumpkin spice pancakes with whipped cream. And these were actually so good, like really soft and sweet. And the pumpkin spice flavor was super strong. They had a great cinnamon flavor and were obviously super buttery. I also got their big brunch that has a crispy chicken, hickory smoked bacon, hash browns, cheese, and a fried egg. Oh my gosh, it was massive. And the egg yolk was all runny and the potatoes were super crispy and the bacon added so much flavor on Honestly, this was fire. Anyway, then I had to come back later and I got their strawberry banana French toast. That was also a huge portion. Of course, you gotta add some syrup and they give you a lot of fruit. Like there's a lot of that strawberry glaze that just soaks into the warm French toast and the whipped cream is super fluffy. It goes so well with the juicy strawberries. It's really sweet, but I kind of like that. And of course I had to try the traditional buttermilk pancakes, which are definitely delicious, but I feel like the pumpkin spice is just more exciting. And finally, I tried their breakfast sampler because I needed something salty and I love that hash browns they have the perfect crunch also the sausage was really good too it's like super juicy and anyway that's all for today only eating New Orleans style food for a full day. First up, I went to this Cajun Creole restaurant and I got their alligator cheesecake. I've never tried alligator before and it's kind of like a firmer chicken. It's like a mix between like pork and chicken and fish. I don't know, but it's so good. And just look at this gorgeous bowl of shrimp that came with this soft, thick French bread. And then you dip it in like the buttery, peppery sauce. It's super spicy and the shrimp was so tender. Anyway, then I had to come back for dinner to try this deep fried roast beef po' boy. So the beef is seared to like like seal in the flavors and then it's slow roasted for hours and it literally melts in your mouth and the thick savory gravy goes so well with the crispy fried bread oh my gosh you can also tell that their gumbo simmers for hours because the sausage is so soft and the flavors are really rich too and this empanada was stuffed with etouffee crawfish which is really thick and meaty and garlicky and their jambalaya is so sweet it's also really savory and it's got three different types of sausages oh and this is one of their most popular items so it's panko crusted chicken covered in a lemon butter sauce which is the perfect combo of acidic and creamy also they make their own hot sauce which is super unique it's like sour and sweet and spicy and you already know i got some beignets for dessert they serve them with this like warm frothy butter and they're just so incredibly soft and flaky i also tried their glazed ones which are like the fluffiest sweetest donuts ever incredible with the warm butter and anyway that's all for today only eating at P.F. Chang's for a full day. First up, look at these gorgeous hand-folded crab wontons. They were intensely crunchy. Like you could tell they were fried fresh and the crab filling was soft and cheesy. And then I got these Kung Pao Brussels sprouts, which were charred really nicely, super crispy. And I love like the added peanut flavor. And they had all these little chili pods. So of course I had to try one. It was literally packed with flavor. Definitely spicy too, but not bad. Then it was time for entrees. I got this ginger chicken, which was delicious. Like you can tell the chicken's been marinating forever. It's just bursting with that soy ginger flavor and the rice is actually really fluffy. And look at this gorgeous glossy stir fried eggplant. It soaked up all of the sweet chili glaze and was so soft, literally melted in my mouth. And I feel like the lo mein was cooked perfectly. It was a little chewy, sweet and salty and I'm obsessed with the warm sesame flavor. Anyway, then I checked out a different location for dinner and I got these pan fried pork dumplings that were really crispy on the bottom, but the dough was still kind of like sticky and soft and the chili sauce really makes me miss the chili oil in China. Like it was so thick and warm and flavorful, but this is okay too. And anyway, then for my entree, I got the Chang spicy chicken, which was super crispy and the glaze had like a little kick, but it wasn't super spicy. But one of my favorite things all day was actually the fried rice. It had so many crunchy little mung bean sprouts. Yum. And that's all for today. 
only eating German food for a full day. I started off at a nearby German restaurant and for an appetizer, I tried their cheese spätzler. So these are egg noodles that have kind of like a dumpling texture. They're chewy, but also kind of crispy on the outside. And look at this gorgeous, fresh, warm pretzel. And the mustard that it came with was so sharp and sweet and a little spicy too. I also got this veal schnitzel, which was super tender. And it came with these pan fried potatoes that had this delicious rosemary flavor. Of course, I had to try some bratwurst that were seasoned so well. They were super garlicky and flavorful and juicy. Also, the sauerkraut was really sweet. And our server said it's because they add brown sugar to the recipe, but it still had like a salty sour flavor too. And I just found out German chocolate cake didn't originate in Germany. It's actually from America, but it's still delicious. It's really light and I love the sweet coconut frosting. I also wanted to try the apple strudel, which was warm and the filling was really thick and like cinnamony, but I think the crust could have been a little flakier. Then I went and picked up some German chocolates. This one was filled with marzipan, which has like a rich almond flavor and it's not too sweet at all. And this one had hazelnuts in it and the bittersweet dark chocolate goes so well with the crunchy nutty hazelnuts. Oh, it's so good. And these ones also had hazelnuts, but were in this like bowl of chewy sweet caramel. These were my favorites. They were like really creamy too. And finally, I got this pork schnitzel for takeout and it came with bacon gravy that was so thick and savory and so, so buttery. It was just super flavorful and the mashed potatoes are really nice and fluffy and that's all for today. Only eating Indian snack foods for a full day. I just got so many Indian snacks from Bus and Snacks and for breakfast, I tried this pistachio Snickers, which is inspired by a whipped Indian ice cream and the rich nutty pistachios go so well with the sweet chewy caramel. I also tried this masala munch, which is a corn puff and it's really similar to the texture of Cheetos. It's like crunchy, but way more flavorful, a little bit of heat, but also kind of sweet. And you guys, this was called a Cadbury Lickable Oreo Chunk. It came with what I think was a spoon to eat it with, but it was so good. It's like a little bowl of crunchy Oreo bits with this thick, rich chocolate mixture. And for lunch, I found these magic masala lays. Honestly, these might've been the most flavor packed chips I have ever had. I'm not even kidding. They're like bursting with spice and savory seasoning, literally incredible. And this was a chocolate pudding Kit Kat. It was still super crunchy, but it had like a smooth pudding consistency too. Super chocolatey. And for dinner, I tried these sizzling hot lays. I was a little scared, but they weren't too bad spice wise. Like just enough to make your eyes water, but not enough to overpower the pepper flavor. And I think this dark chocolate brownie Kit Kat was my favorite thing all day. It was like insanely chocolatey and rich and smooth with that perfect, sweet, simple crunch. Incredible. And that's all for today. Only eating Venezuelan food for a full day. I went to this spot for breakfast and I tried a cachapa, which is like a big corn pancake filled with this soft white cheese called queso de mano. And the corn makes it really sweet. It's also fried in butter. So it's like super flavorful and like a little crispy too. I also tried this cachitos de jamón, which is like a Venezuelan croissant stuffed with ham. And oh my gosh, it's so good in this creamy cilantro garlic sauce. And I also tried it in this salsa rosada, which I think is similar to mayo ketchup. It's like really tangy and rich. Anyway, then for lunch, I tried this reina pepiada arepa, which is like perfectly crispy and the avocado chicken mixture is a little like zesty. It's so satisfying to eat. And look at these gorgeous tequeños. They're filled with this soft, salty cheese and literally fried to perfection. And they came with this sweet guayaba dip that went perfectly with the buttery pastry. Wow, these might have been my favorites all day. And finally for dinner, I got some pabayon, which came with a beautifully runny egg and these crispy sugary plantains. And this carne asada was so flavorful and really tender too. Also, the beans were like thick and rich. Oh my gosh, I am so full and so happy. And that's all for today.